Hello, welcome to another math video. So in this video, we are solving for the sum of powers. We got four options here, and we are going to test them all and find out which one is correct. So before we get any further, please subscribe so I can keep making more content and hit that notification button so when you find out when I upload some more videos. So let's work through number A first. So nine to the power of three would be rewritten as three plus three plus three, all to the power of three, which again equals nine to the power of three, which is not what we are looking for. So answer B, nine to the power of nine would be three plus three plus three, all to the power of three plus three plus three is equal to nine over nine. Again, it does not give us the answer we are looking for. So with C, we would have three to the power of three plus three plus three, equal to 3 to the power of 9, which again is not what we are looking for. So, that being said, number D has to be the correct answer. And it doesn't quite look right, but let's work through this. So, looking at our original equation, the common factor there would be 3 to the power of 3. So we could pull that out and say it's 3 to the power of 3 times 1 plus 1 plus 1. Which in turn would be 3 to the power of 3 times 3, which is to the power of 1. Now if we apply some exponent properties of a to the power of m times a to the power of n, it's equal to a to the power of m plus n. So... Therefore, 3 to the power of 3 times 3 to the power of 1 would be 3 plus 1. So we would have 3 to the power of 4. 